Susie Kadu isn't sure what the future holds for her and her daughter Ketra. How do you accept going to a place where you know you're going to lose your life? Kadu is originally from Uganda. The 31-year-old is a lesbian, and in Uganda, homosexuality is illegal. Kadu says those who are they are tortured, put in prison, if not hanged and put to death. Kadu came out in 2010. Every single day when I was outed, I lived in fear every single day. She fled Uganda in 2014 with a passport under a different name. My name was spread all over, so I was a wanted person. I was hunted. I had to do whatever it takes to be safe. Kadu made it to Calgary, then moved to Edmonton, where she filed her refugee claim. But she denied ever having any other names, an error she believes is the reason her claim was refused. Other attempts to stay were denied. A pre-removal risk assessment was also rejected, citing paperwork discrepancies, and says, Kadu would not be subject to risk of persecution, danger of torture, risk to life, or risk of cruel and unusual punishment or punishment if she returned to her country of nationality. It makes me feel really hopeless. I'm scared for my life. Adebayo Katiti is a fellow Ugandan helping Kadu. Katiti is a transgender man who recently received his refugee status in Canada. Canada protect me. Uh, why not protect Susie? Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada tells Global News each case is assessed on its merits and if the pre-removal risk assessment outcome is negative, the individual will be removed from Canada. IRCC and the CBSA take all necessary steps to ensure that individuals will not be removed to a situation where their life will be at risk. Katiti uh, doesn't I accept knew, their reasonings. Uh, that Susie, <laughs> if she's deported, I mean that's a life gone. That's a life lost. For Kadu, she speaks fondly of Canada, even as it prepares to remove her. I love Canada at heart, and nothing is going to change that, either I'm deported or not. Julia Wong, Global News.